In this video, we are going to look at how to create a question bank and a question group. Question banks are a place for you to house questions that can be added to quizzes across courses or accounts. To create a question bank, the first thing you want to do is select your quiz tab. From here, you want to select manage question banks. As you can see, I've already created a few question banks but to create a new question bank, I can click Add Question Bank. I'm going to go ahead and give my question bank a name, so maybe I'll call this one Calculations. I'm going to hit Enter or Return on my keyboard. From there, I can now select the name Calculations to open the question bank, and I can begin adding questions by clicking Add a Question. You have the option of all different types of questions, but for today, I'm going to go ahead and create a multiple choice question and I'll start adding questions. So maybe I'll have a math equation. Right? I'm going to put in all of my possible answers. Okay. I want to make sure that I select the correct answer. So if I click on the green arrow next to the correct answer, that will change to the correct answer. And I will go ahead and select Update Question to save it. Now I can go ahead and add as many questions as I want. I can go back and click Add a Second Question, a Third Question, until I've added all the questions that I want into the question bank. Now if I return to my Quiz tab and go ahead and select Manage Question Banks again, you can see that I've gone ahead and I've added a few more questions so that there are five total questions in my Calculations Question Bank. The next step is to now begin creating my quiz. So I want to go back and click on the quiz tab and select plus quiz. You have the option to add a classic quiz or a new quiz. And for this particular exam, I'm going to go ahead and use the classic quiz and click on submit. Now we have another video that we created on how to build an exam, all the details and options associated with the quiz, how to select questions and build questions. So for today, I'm just going to go ahead and give my exam a title, call it exam 10, and I'm going to go over to my questions tab. This is where I can now build a question group. Now question groups allow you to place multiple questions within a group for students to answer. We can also link to our question bank. And what you do is you go ahead and you select plus new question group. You can give the group a name if you want to and you can begin selecting the number of questions that should be answered from the question group. So for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and say three questions from the question group. And how many points do I want to assign per question, which I will leave at one. The next thing I wanna do is go ahead and link to the question bank that I created. So I click link on question bank, and I wanna pull a randomized three questions from the five questions I have in the calculation question bank that we created earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and select my calculations question bank and say select bank. Now what this does is creating a question group is good for randomizing questions within the quiz. This is also a good alternative to Lockdown Browser. If you don't feel like using that software, you can go ahead and create a question bank, attach all of your questions and create a group and have Canvas select a number of questions at random from that group so each student will receive a unique examination. So once I've linked to my question bank, I've created my group, I've selected how many questions and how many points, I can go ahead and click Create Group. Now I can add more groups if I wanted to, or I could add more individual questions, but once my quiz is complete, I can go ahead and say Save. And if I preview the exam, you will see that Canvas has selected three questions randomly out of my question bank that had five. And if I go back again to my quizzes and go back to my exam and preview it again, you can see that the questions have changed and in fact each student is receiving a unique examination. 